Okay, horse lovers, here we are um, with Gina backing in a figure eight. So I get her backing first, and then I yield the shoulder back, shoulder, back, shoulder, all the while hoping for lightness on the halter. That was a little sharper turn than I meant to um, ask for there, and you can see how that put a little tweak on her back legs. So me stepping over the rope obviously didn't work very well for her. So you'll see in the next figure eight, I, you know, work something else out. Back and then, and then ask the shoulder to go over, back and over. And then she works out the hind end on her own. I'm mostly just trying to um, focus on the front end. It probably would have been easier for her. So she got a little stuck there, so I added a little pressure. Probably would have been easier for her had I chosen a bit bigger of a pattern. I should have maybe gone on a bigger figure eight for her. But she did really well. She stayed light, only got stuck that one time. So now I try again. I like to kind of go in the rule of three, like do three repetitions and then evaluate whether or not I need to do more. That was really good. Again, you don't, it doesn't need to be such a tight pattern. You can um, make it bigger and that'll make it easier for them to figure out the right answer. So here I decided, well, instead of switching sides on the rope, which bothered her, maybe I can um, do it, you know, stay on the same side. And that didn't really seem to work very well. She got bent the wrong way and I had to yield, drive the hindquarters instead of yielding the shoulder. It just didn't feel very good. It's all sticky and not that nice. So no big deal. I tried something. It wasn't really the outcome I was looking for. So now I'm going to give it a go one more time. But to help avoid having to deal with all the rope, I'm just going to put it up over her back, the extra rope. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> All my Englishy friends are probably just um, horrified by her mane. I should, um, you know, trim it the way they do for English things. Okay, back and over. All, all wish just with the halter, right? It's just about where I'm taking the halter, and it's her job to stay in the halter. And there, since I didn't have to deal with stepping over the rope, I could switch sides and have it be a bit smoother. She got stuck and a little distracted. It's never okay to lean or push on the halter, so there was a bite there. That a girl. There we go. Nice and steady. That was good. Again, she got stuck in one spot, but and there's a little sticky spot. Ah, not too bad. Um. But I felt like we made improvement. We figured some stuff out. So I didn't feel like um, it was necessary to do it again after that. That's the last one we do, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe not. I'll do it again. <laughs> okay. You can see her starting to put more and more effort in each time she kind of gets the idea of wh what I want. What I like about this one is is that I took it wider, was able to take it wider for her so it's not so um, difficult mentally and physically. That's my girl. That's my girl. You can see how taking it wider makes it easier. She's not nearly as sticky. Now, <clears throat> of course, eventually I want her to lower her neck and tuck her nose and, <clears throat> you know, all of those good things. But this is the first time I asked her to do this. And um, I'm really pleased with the outcome. Good girl.
that's the end of it. Okay, I hope you find that helpful.